So I have a linked list. Here's my linked list. You thought I was done drawing linked lists, didn't you? Yeah, me too. How would I be able to tell if my linked list was really a circular linked list. And what I mean by I don't need the last one. What I mean by a circular linked list is my next pointer points to the next node, and my next pointer points to the next node, and my next pointer points to the next node, and my next pointer points to the next node, my next pointer points to the next node, and my last case, my next pointer points to a node that I've already seen. Okay. So how would I know if I had a circular linked list? All right, so what do you guys think? How could you do this? So one of the suggestions on Slido is you could record a data item and see if you find it again. I'm paraphrasing the suggestion. So you could say, OK, let's record a data item go around the loop and see if we find it again. That's OK, but maybe you're going to have a duplicate data item, right? If you allowed duplicate items in your list, that probably wouldn't work. What other ways did people suggest, or what other ways did you guys come up with? So you iterate until you find head again. Yeah. Any other suggestions? So compare memory addresses. Any other suggestions? All right, cool. So this is the, the way to do it, right? So this is the way to do it. Start at the head, have a temporary pointer. Let's just call it T. And you iterate through the list. T, 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 T. And there's two different ways you could stop. You could do it so you can iterate. until t, my temporary pointer, is equal to null. Or the alternative is that temporary pointer is going to be the same as head. Or my temporary pointer dot next is going to be the same as head. Okay. In fact, it doesn't matter in this case which two of those you stop at. This one saves you one step, but very marginal. OK, cool. The question then was asked, what about having a tail pointer? How does that change what you would do? How does that change? What's the complexity of this search? This is big O of n, right? How, wh how would having a tail pointer affect the complexity? So you would, if you had a tail pointer, you could check if tail dot next is pointing to head, right? And that's a constant time check. And then I have one more complexity for you. So what if 
it's not connected like this, so that we have head pointing to A, to B, to C, to D, to E, to F, back to head. But what happens if we point to another place in the middle of the list? How would we know that? So in this case, we could start at tail. So one of the clues would be that tail.next is not null, right? If we had a tail pointer, if tail.next is not null, we've got something going on like one of these examples. So we could start at tail, and we could go around until we see something that looks like tail. Right? If you didn't have a tail pointer, and you had an infinite loop like this, or you suspected it, one of the ways that you could do it then is to create two temporary pointers. Right? And so now you start with your temporary pointer at head, and you go around a number of times, perhaps based on the current size of the list, maybe the current size plus a few. And if you don't see the join, you move your temporary pointer up one and start again. Start at next, iterate through, perhaps based on the size of the number of elements in the list, perhaps with, you know, adding a few to make sure that you go around the loop completely. If you don't see it there, you increment your tail pointer, uh, sorry, your temporary pointer. So in that case, you need two temporary pointers. And what's the complexity of that? What's the complexity of that comparison? If you use two tail pointers and you keep going around, and for every node you go through n times, and then the next node you go through n times, and the next node you go through n times, that complexity will be big O of n squared, right? Because for every node you have to do n comparisons. So it's n times n, n squared comparisons. 